Okay, and welcome back to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a short video or a long video, but anyway, I've decided to revisit my AM radio receiver because I got a PM today from Stefan0719 and he gave me some suggestions about how to make this thing work. So you can see we've got a variable resistor here. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And also I've changed a couple of the components on the board there. Added this little capacitor here between the source and gate of this FET here. And now I'm happy to say that it does actually work. Let me just turn my amplifier on and we'll hear it. We are picking up something right now. It's very faint. We are getting something. It does work better than this. This isn't the best it works. That's just a very weak station. Well, I think it's a weak station anyway. There we go. Oh, it's that song they always play on Harry Enfield. With those radio DJs. So let's see if we can tune into something else. Because I hate that song, I've heard it so many times. There's another station. Anyway, so, uh, let me just turn this off a minute. So, what is this for? Well, well this is uh, for the regeneration of the radio. I've got it set right now to that very tipping point where it squeals like mad if it's not on a station. But when you are on a station, the squealing completely goes. It's not perfect, but going from not being able to pick up stations and just squealing all the time, to being able to pick up a few stations, that's a big step forward. Okay, well I found a station here that comes in nice and strong. As I'm sure you can hear by the voice talking in the background. So anyway, let's see what the regeneration control does. It's very touchy by the way. If I turn it too far down, we get absolutely nothing at all. Too far up and it makes a whole bunch of noise. But if I get it just right. Oh, I love this song. So I'm recording that on the tape right now. You'll be able to hear it at the end of this video. I will just tune that in a little better. So there we go. I hope the copyright police don't screw me for that, but still. Let's go over to the circuit diagram to see what I actually did to this radio. So here's the circuit that you all know and remember. So let's go through the changes that I made to this circuit. Well, firstly, there's this 5.6K resistor here. Now, what I did was disconnect this end of the resistor from the supply voltage. And I connected a variable resistor, one end of a variable resistor to the positive, the other end of the variable resistor to the negative, and the center terminal of the variable resistor I connected up to R2 and that turned the radio from a squeal box into well to something that could actually receive a few stations. Also I changed this resistor here to a 10 nanofarad 
and that's improved the tone of the radio quite a bit and I also put a capacitor 220 picofarads between the gate and source of this FET. That last bit didn't seem to have any difference but I've put it in there anyway. Anyway, next thing I want to do is I want to put a, a 1k variable resistor between that 470k that I've used and the positive just to fine tune that regeneration and also find a much better coil to use as L1. Okay, well, okay, I've added that 1k variable resistor now. So now there isn't such a fine line between absolutely nothing at all and a lot of squealing. Here it is picking up something. I know there's just football results, but that's uh, won't be copyrighted for that. But I can adjust this. Did find a station playing some classical music, but it seems to have disappeared now. That's better than listening to football results, isn't it? Well, come in very strong. I've had to turn the thing right up to hear it. But yes, I'm going to call this a success. And until next time, goodbye. I'm going to leave you with what I recorded earlier and hope I don't get screwed by the copyright police. T-Rex and get it on. 25 to 9. Coming up then for our first instalment of our introducing music tonight on the show. That will be in Gloucester for the first of our introductions.